I know chapter 5 that it's just this one sheet because chapter 5 is about the future after today. It, because we won't have time and no opportunities, but you would like to know after you have finished task model 2, so what? Okay. Once again, task model 1 represents the current task world. Task model 1 should be complete as far as relevant. In, in the case of the, 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 the car, I'm not talking to the car people a little bit. In the case of the car sensor system, task model 1 is how do companies or institutes now uh, find out about the status of the different cars they own or the different cars they are related to. The, the bus company to their buses, the cab company to their taxis and so on. How do they keep uh, aware of the whereabouts of, of relevant information about all these different cars. Task model 1 should be complete as far as relevant. So I don't care whether you know the, 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 the license plates of the cars or the colors of the cars, if it's all about where they are and how long they stop or how long the drivers drive, then you should model that. And that should be complete and that should be correct and there's no need to model more than that. You are just concerned about having information about the car, relevant information at the head office. Like in the other case, you are just concerned about the problems people have if the settings of their television set are not automatically optimized. So you model everything related to automatically optimizing settings, which includes websites, which includes the setting at the shop, which includes what's printed on the box and so on, and nothing else. So, task model 2 is a global specification of a new situation, a new world, where the, the current needs, the current requests, the current problems are solved. So, you propose both to the client and to the prospective users that in future it will be better. Because my design helps you solve the problems, helps you to answer your needs. And task model 2 needs evaluation on feasibility. Will this work? <coughs> Is this something that would help my customer and would help the, sorry, my client and would help the customers of my client? Right? So task model 2 is a proposal that needs to be checked. So checking your task model 2, there are techniques, and these techniques I just mentioned them, and I point to the website that the race has been pre prepared for you. There you will find techniques like scenario, like heuristic evaluation, like service image, complex panorama, storytelling. All these techniques are in the tool. So if after, after today, maybe a couple of months from now, some of you are going to actually specify the detailed design for these solutions, then these are the techniques you need to use in order to find out whether you really are in the right track. Okay? What is surface image? Just showing the image to um, the uh, user? Surface image is, is an image of what the new things should offer to the customers. Okay. Sorry, to, uh, yeah, to the customers. So the surface image could be the way to, to for the in-car system, could be the way to, uh, to sell the new system that still has to be built, to sell the new system to a tax, taxi company or to a bus company. It would show the bus company, this is what you would know, this is how it works, this is where the data stay, this is the, that guarantees the privacy of the drivers and so on. Right? So it's a complete picture that tells, it really is, is a picture, it's, it's a representation, it's not a formal specification of the details, it's not about the software, it's about what would it mean for the people. And, and, and put it in literally a picture maybe, or, or, a, or, or a PowerPoint, or a flash movie showing, if this will be installed in my bus company, this is how the bus drivers no longer have to bother to tell the company because the company can always see and the company can always tell us where to go or, or the company can, can help us find a repairman if the bus breaks down or whatever. It's a picture that helps, in a way, your client to show to their customers this is what these guys are going to build for us. And that's really the end of my story. <laughs>